Now there is there is one thing for sure about trucks, V8 motors and diesels. I mean, I think just overall, most would all agree that V8 motor sound and the diesels, but just that V8 motor sound is such the incredible enjoyment of a truck. And it's so unfortunate that these uh, smaller mid-sized trucks wouldn't cram in a small, small V8 motor in it, which they could. You know as well as I did. The right motor, I was getting 25, 28, 29 miles per gallon, that 5.3 um, Chevy Silverado that I owned just for a short time, 327 small block, that truck was insane. That same motor in a freaking mid-sized truck, that would be a 30 mile per gallon vehicle. So it's just incredible on how the manufacturers won't do that. Okay, here's the kid, and I kind of pulled it the wrong way, but oh, it just doesn't end. What is the kid gonna think? How did he sleep with me? He didn't sleep with me, thank goodness. No, Keeper Boy doesn't sleep in my bed for the most part. He jumps up there, all he does is itch. Oh, so what do you think about the Ford Ranger? Raptor. <laughs> he itches on me too. Giggles um, this morning, shit, you got up early. I know, I woke up at 6.30. Yeah, early. You know, I've been getting ready since 7.20. Wow. Like, I know you think I just go in there and sit around, but I'm doing something. Well, okay, so yeah, so what do you think, Ford Ranger Raptor? I want it. What about a Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison Edition? I think I'd like that more. Have you ever, have you ever seen it? No. Well, but right I, there it is. They just got one in. Really? I like this a lot. I like this a lot! Yes! I love Chevy Colorados! Yes! 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 What do we give up for it? Um... Yes! 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 I love this! Yeah, what would we give up for it? this way more than the Ranger Raptor. Oh my goodness. Yes. Um, I would say um, I don't know. What do we have? I forget. No. What about the Jeep Mujer? Yeah, it's so negative. I can't see that playing out. OMG, that is so cool. Ah, oh, I love it. There's Chevy. another one that's like popcorn, and I, years ago, bought a Chevy truck. It's uh, more of the reddish color. No, I like black. Like, black is my favorite color. Okay. Please. Oh, I don't know how to pull that off. Yikes. Right, everybody? Thanks, as we to the dump, to the trash facility, with the keeper in the back, with all the trash, all the waste, as we contribute to the annual close to 7,000 pounds of weight of trash, of waste. You watched my video yesterday, you'll know that conversation. The so daughter's saying, I'm really a Chevy, a Chevy baby by heart. This got to go. Katie, <clears throat> there you are, kid. And there's Joe. He's had a ton of stuff. Good Lord. I mean, good Lord. <laughs> When's the last time he's been to the dump? <laughs> a month ago? Or is that just one week? Right? There's my old FJ Cruiser I bought in 2008. And I Think bet about you that. put that, that Honda sticker <clears throat> on it. No, that would have been Joe. Where? What Honda sticker? The Honda sticker on the back window. Yeah, I probably did. Yeah. <laughs> so, 2008, 
18, that's 10. So 16 years old. Wow. <clears throat> that's hard to believe. And Joe worked out of that. Cars and cigars is today. Yeah, on the rain. It's not raining. Okay. Cool. That place would be packed. I'm just saying, I'm letting you know because your friend, <clears throat> you never know. And your friend. Well, we forget all the time. But I'm telling you. You want to help Joe know. out? You want to help Joe? What? I can't hear you. I said, you want to help him? No, not really. Okay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, I don't feel like it. If he asks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think of what do you think of that one? No, I like black. I'm really like in the black. I mean that's okay too. I just like black so much. Alright, time to get rid of the garbage. Hey, I'm the trash police. Did you compact every box right there? Did you compact every single box? What did you put in there? <laughs> I'm the stash. How you doing? <laughs> Great. Uh, you didn't crush all your boxes. Oh, You're no. banned from this place, man. Yep. Oh, my God. You put plastic in there, too. Yeah. You remember that one? Oh, yeah. COVID, COVID <laughs> the lady came up and started chewing you out. <laughs> We're not following the proper... She was a nurse, she was a nurse she? during COVID, too. Oh, my gosh. Get, get this to sleep. Get this to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beyond believable, beyond believable, beyond believable. If I want a new Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison Edition, I just got one. If I want it, and here's it's crazy. My good friend Bob, who I showed the video of bringing him a nice grill and trailer, he happens to show up at my house this morning, which he could be my chauffeur to go buy this thing that's like an hour and a half away. Oh my gosh, beyond believable. Do I do it? Do I do it? Stay tuned. Wow, and wow, and wow, unbelievable. Bob, my good friend Bob, is gonna drive me to go pick up an awesome new truck. And guess who's gonna be with us? Guess who's coming with the gang? Little boy, he has a little ball there. How about that? Oh, can you still get it? There you go, little boy. Got a leash. Bob's ready. I'm ready. Wow. Unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. The car gods. Where it gets dizzy. So I don't know what uh, I don't know what that's about. What's the man talk? Yeah. I got yeah, Bob yeah. next to me driving me up to go pick up another, yet another new ride in my goofy glasses. And we're gonna it's a long drive. I mean, it's just so incredible how my friend Bob showed up out of the blue this morning even though he texted me this morning he texted me this morning and he's like hey man i'm gonna come by and get some of that waterless car wash that we used to sell together called dry wash and guard and i was like okay cool come on by and i totally forgot about it <laughs> to the point that i literally was making an appointment to go see uh the truck so there's another chevrolet colorado zr2 bison edition blacked out a little more loaded up than what i'm looking at at ted Britt chevy not ted Britt ford it's going to watch my channel it'll be like well there's a ted Britt ford but there's a ted Britt chevy in sterling virginia that has a really nice cool chevrolet colorado and so i was setting up an appointment to go see that vehicle but at the same time i was setting up a, i was inquiring about the other vehicle the other chevrolet that's the red color at Coons um, Chevrolet up there in near in White Marsh, uh, Maryland. So I had all this going on. Well, at the last second, my friend Bob shows up, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's right. I forgot all about Bob because he wanted me to set out some product for him to be able to use on his his freshly used Bodie ball last fall, which that's a whole other story of the adventures for Bob. Yeah, he can tell you that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's called Boating on the Road. Boat comes unattached on the road and wants to sit on your truck tailgate. Yeah. Yeah, but he had a lot of fun anyway. So uh, so here I am with Bob. So what's the odds of Bob coming over to my shop today to get a bottle of car care product 
to use on his boat, but only to be finagled into being my chauffeur to go all the way up to maybe get this truck that I haven't even driven. Yes, what did that mean? What? And, and then for the deal get done, so I really took the position that I'm not driving an hour and a half away to go look at a truck. And if I want it, I can't get approved, forget it. I'm not gonna do it, it's a waste of time. If you're watching my channel, Friday morning's conversation was waste of time. And for me, I just don't wanna spend the day for nothing. So I took a different angle this time without even test driving this Chevy Colorado ZR2 package, the Bison Edition. I haven't even test driven it. I've committed to buying it in so many words by applying for credit to see if I get approved. And they did. Wow. And meanwhile, the Ted Bridge Chevy deal, I kind of got turned off because the salesperson said, what time are we going to come by? And I said, eh, later this morning. He said, 11 a.m.? I said, yeah, sure. And so then he texts back. He said, well, actually, that time slot's already taken with that vehicle. Somebody else is interested in it. Maybe you had to get here earlier. I'm like, eh, forget this. I'm not going to go down to the, de the dealership and beg to buy a freaking vehicle. I'm not going to do it. Sorry, I'm out. So with this Coons deal going over the uh, text messaging, going to the Internet, applying for the vehicle, it's all said and done. They got the deal done, and they took like $3,100 off the price of the truck, which Ted Britt Chevy... They had no, you know, they're just not, but I told the Coons representative that I'm going to, I'm also looking at Ted Bridge Chevrolet. So I think they maybe gave them a little bit of a thing like, you know what, let's give this guy a lot of incentive to come here and we'll give some money off his truck. And being that I'm a Chevy Corvette and Camaro owner, I get a $750 reward to a discount off this vehicle to help give me that $3,100 off the price of truck. So that's pretty cool. And they got me a decent rate and not a lot of money out of pocket. So it's just beyond believable. Now, one of my subscribers is saying that they feel like the ZR2 Colorado is cool, but they feel the Raptor is better. But I'm thinking to myself, you got to be very careful here. The Chevrolet Colorado ZR2 versus the Bison package are two totally different trucks. So I don't know if he's trying to compare. I would agree, the ZR2 non-Bison package, the Chevy or the Ford Ranger Raptor, I think would be the more fun and more aggressive looking truck. But no way, I think the Bison package looks more aggressive and more fun than the um, Raptor. And the thing is, at the end of the day, I'm getting this truck for less money than buying the Ford uh, Ranger Raptor because they're discounting it. Versus the Ford Ranger Raptor, everybody's playing hardball on those things. So anyways, here's Bob here, we're talking. And you, he has to buy this truck because it reminds me of going back years ago when I took a friend up to look at motorcycles. He ended up not buying a motorcycle and I did. Ah, <laughs> yeah, Bob. go figure. Yeah, Bob would be like, "Oh no, here we go." Hey, hey, it's a pretty little looking truck. Yeah, yeah. Let me see that. Oh my gosh, right? Yeah. So for uh, for Bob, but at the same time, I thought Bob was going to say what it brings back to me memories of my father and I in 1978 going to Flemington <coughs> Chevrolet, New Jersey, and placing an order for a 1978 Chevy half ton four wheel drive K10 step side in like the it's not a burgundy, but it's a really cool um, maroon red, I guess you could say. And that was our first official new truck we ever owned. And that was, that's so, and that's what this truck kind of reminds me of. And when I was a kid, I such loved those mid little trucks that were lifted and all. So anyway, stay tuned for adventures as we head to the Bison Day. It's the Bison Day. Wow. All right. Got Gatorade all over me. <laughs> So good old Bob and I are here heading down the road, long drive. Bob's reminiscing on his days of going and getting a motorcycle with his friend and how that all played out. What happened there, Mr. Bob? Burnt in. Good news is Bob just was checked for his uh, cancer and <laughs> and how'd that all play out? Well, <clears throat> pet test came back clean. No cancer. Thank, thank God. Yeah, thank God. So, yeah. wow, success story there for... Anybody has cancer, 
I think you should go to my YouTube channel and watch the video of me going to Bob Burns' house. That's my good friend that's a cancer victim. And you should watch that video because it gives you true hope of uh, if you uh, have a lot of prayer around you, a lot of good friends around you, family, and you have goodwill in your mind. It's your mind. It's your mind. Your, your will to live. And that's who Bob is. And so Bob can honestly tell you he beat the cancer because of a lot of those things. That's for sure. I right. Had, I had a lot of people praying for me, multiple churches, and I had stage four cancer, okay? And uh, the probability of me surviving was, you know, the odds were against me. But lo and behold, you know, all the prayers, and I'm here to tell you about it. How about that, huh? Right. And this all happened. Uh, July of last year so for him it's coming up it's 10 months 10 months ago to think 10 months ago and if you would have seen the condition of him back July August September you'd never believe you wouldn't even know you'd never even know that Bob Hearn my good friend had uh, cancer and he's on Facebook if you out there wants to reach out and uh, interact with him he's on Facebook and so but Bob wants to share his story about his good friend wanting to get a motorcycle yeah, my good friend Jimmy, uh, when I lived in Pennsylvania, Johnstown, Pennsylvania, uh, he, he, he says, hey, Bob, can you give me a ride up to the uh, the uh, Honda dealer? Uh, I'm really interested in buying a motorcycle. And I said, oh, sure, Jimmy, I'll take you on up, no problem. So we get on there, get on up there, and we're looking around, and he said, wow, he said, and I'm looking around, and... Lo and behold, Jimmy says, you know, I don't think I'm going to get one today. I just, you know, the finances aren't going to work for me. And I'm looking around. I said, wow, well, you know, I said, I really like this bike here. So who ends up buying a motorcycle? Me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. What year was this? This going back to... Mm, like what age like, were you? I was probably 26 years old. But what Honda motorcycle did you buy? A Honda Shadow 750. Oh my gosh. Really? Yeah. That thing was fast. It was fast. What it, color? It was burgundy red. Oh, uh, nice. With, you know, metal flake into it. Oh, wow. Really sweet, nice bike. That is awesome. Uh, yeah. Brand new. Brand new. Brand new. Wow. Yeah. Man, did you keep it for very long? or? I kept it for a year and... Uh, after I got in trouble a couple of times going too fast on it, I decided it was time to let that thing go. You know what I mean? Uh, That's funny. Yeah. The bandit. Shadow. Yeah. The shadow. The name in itself on the bike should yeah. concern you. <laughs> you. It's implying you can only hope you're a shadow going down the road at the speed you'll be driving it, right? That's it. That's oh, it. my gosh. That's good stuff there. Well, for poor Bob, my good friend Bob, he bought a nice used boat last fall. I didn't even notice this. I didn't know it. So when I went to his house, if you watch my video of when I gave uh, Bob a nice trailer, a nice grill for him getting his uh, barbecue grilling business kind of going and his charity drive and his sharing his love and passion for grilling, I was at his house and I noticed he had a boat, but I really thought that was his neighbor's boat. I never actually knew. So if you watch that video of mine, you'll see a boat in the background. I never knew that that boat was uh, his boat. And so come to find out, Bob, who's a cancer survivor, had the he had the ongoing will of life to live. During cancer, he bought that boat, which I'm sure some people would be hesitant to commit to something while you're still in reminiscent of your, uh, your cancer, right? Or I should say, well, you have your cancer, and you're going through all that. And that's a statement of how he had the faith and the will to live that he would get through that. You know as well as I do, a lot of people wouldn't do that. They'd be like... They'd be like, I ain't buying that because I don't know if I'm going to be around next week. Well, I thought about that, and my thoughts were, it says, hey, I said, I don't know how, long, how much longer I got on this earth, but I'm going to enjoy every freaking minute I can with it. So I told the wife, you know what? I don't know how long I'm going to be on this earth. I want to go buy a boat. And she said, go for it. <laughs> so I did. And you found a great deal. On yes. a used boat, only great deal about it was the dang um, where he puts the uh, the trailer onto the receiver ball 
apparently that fitting wasn't very good or something. It was, and I and I believe what happened was I just didn't have it uh, tight enough. It, it's not the typical one, the typical um, where you you know the trailer down. axis goes yeah. down on the ball, yeah, and you put the pin down. Right. It's one that you hand crank, and it actually pushes a uh, a container to the ball yeah, so like it won't sleeve. come off. Yeah. Right. So you, so apparently Bob didn't <coughs> tighten it down properly. So in his route to go into Lake Anna to go on his boating adventure. But hey, if you own a boat, you know it's always an adventure. There's always a story for a boating adventure. That's the way he says. So Bob, he texted me this picture of the back of his bed of his truck tailgate slammed. And I'm like, wow, what happened there? I was, I was, first of all, I went to Lake Anna and I, I put the boat in. It ran like a freaking champ. It's a 1992 Maxim. And it was the first time I had it in the water because I, when I bought it, it was late fall. It was already winterized. So I didn't want to go through re re winterizing it. So, you know, it, it was the first time I had it out this year, and the first time I even had it running. So it was like, the boat ran like a champ. And actually, I was going to do some fishing. I had my rod, I had bought bait, I bought a day's fishing license, and I didn't even fish. I, the boat was running so good, I just drove around the lake. Wow. But on the way back home, I uh, came across some railroad tracks, and I think I was going just a little bit too fast, probably about 30 mile an hour, which was way too fast. And the 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 boat came off the hitch and slammed onto the ground and slammed right into the back of the tailgate. But I didn't let it bother me. You know why? Because I had a great day, and I said, "What the hell? <laughs> Shit happened, right?" Hey. There you go. Yeah. Right. That's what gets you through life, everybody. You hear that? Yeah, you know. Just pull up your britches and keep it going, right? But you're crying. But that's so incredible how I didn't know Bob had his own boat. And it's just me being the boater guy. Anybody else out there knows. If you watch my channel and you see our boating adventures, you get that. So, uh, so that's pretty cool. And it's just a uh, another life story adventure for Mr. Bob. But now he wants to go out and get a nice uh, depth finder, fish finder. And I told him to go to Cabela's. I think Cabela's would be a good place to go to get learn what would be right. Is it necessarily the best price in there? I don't know. But if anything, go to Cabela's Bass Pro Shops and I think that you'll get a lot of knowledge from somebody there. And then you can kind of do your research to see if it makes sense that they have uh, what fits your budget, more or less. Because anybody knows you can go to Bass Pro Shops, Cabela's, you can get crazy. If you're a guy like me, you'll be there signing up to buy a boat. You'll know those stories. Yeah, I tried that last uh, late summer, and which in so many ways I could have, but I didn't. So there it is. All right, we're still a good, probably, I would say 45 minutes away. Let's say 40 minutes away from the dealership. So uh, we're getting closer and closer as Bob. It works for me many weekends. Um, I mean, he's, he's used to this being on the road and riding around, so he knows his way, and plus he's an outside salesman most of his life, and he knows uh, he knows the roads. Now, everybody has relationships in life, and everybody meets each other on weird ways. What's the odds that I would meet Bob and be a long, you know, a lifelong friend that I never ever guessed in 1992 or I should say probably the spring of 93, that I would meet a guy in my own backyard that had a really nice Chevrolet black Corvette sitting out front where he works at an electrical store, um, wholesaler, contractor, Southern Electric. And so what's the odds of me walking in the door and wanting to pull him outside to show him a car care product that actually he came today to get? To talk about full circle how life is. So for Bob, I didn't know who he was. I walked into his showroom, if you know what a electrical contractor is, the showroom, and you go to the counter. He was behind the counter sales um, at that time. 
and I approached him on wanting to show him a really cool car care product because it came across to me. First thing we did is we asked, because I had another friend there with me, you know, whose Corvette is that out front side? And Bob took the bait. He took the bait. Probably just said, I have no idea. And so, uh, and so he goes, oh, that's mine. So I tried to open the door up to say, hey, I've got a car care product I think you'd really like. And then he came outside and I showed the product to him. And Bob really did like the product. And then he was intrigued to know more about it and have an opportunity to uh, also share and show the product and became a distributor uh, with a company that I was with, Envirotech International. And, uh, and so from that, never knowing that that introduction would then turn into years and years of being friends and in a relationships and business as well. And so the irony of all this is he came to my house today to buy the car care product of dry wash and guard, which is hard to believe. That's 31 years ago. In so many ways, 1993 to 2024, that's 31 years ago. Even for me, am I even right on that? That's hard to believe. 31 years ago. Wow. Yeah. And, and that now here he comes to my house today and for me to go do this vehicle purchase, I'm not trading anything. And it's like this vehicle is an hour and a half away, one way. And my daughter's at the horse. My wife is content being in the house. And so when for Bob coming here, I don't even know how this would kind of play out today. It'd be much more challenging. And so, wow, the, the, uh, the car gods, the waterless car wash, just incredible. I mean, truly. But what's more incredible is life on how it's hard to believe 31 years has gone by. That's hard to believe. And I'm telling you, I think I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all are. What do you mean, wow? So, Bob, you're kind of off. But it's better than the alternative. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to sit down too much, lay down too much, because trust me, one day you'll have plenty of time to do that. Not yeah, for sure. And we'll pass on that for now. We better ride it out as long as we can. Unless you have a brother called Dieter. <laughs> oh my gosh. I only wish I had video, video of Dieter, his brother. Yes, his brother's name is Dieter. He was born in Germany? Germany? Yes, he was. Yeah, so his brother should have been in the movies. He would have been perfect cast for Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> he had a perfect personality. Oh, he is so funny. And he worked for me one summer around my property. And, oh, if I could have had video of the antics of what he did, it would have been classic. So, oh my god. Hey, traffic's being pretty good to us so far. That's pretty good. My good friend Bob, how's a good old Kiefer boy doing? Uh, my good friend Bob, I'm in his truck. I'm thinking this thing has like 40 or 50,000 miles on it. <coughs> How many miles? 90,790. 90,000. This truck truly drives on the road. I mean, I would never, I would think his truck had 40 or 50,000 miles on it. Yeah. No, I'll tell you, I, I found. This has a six-cylinder turbo. It's, it's pretty fast and all that. You know, we got a lot yeah, of power. Right. And I found that if I use the premium gas, I get better gas mileage. Okay, I'm averaging right now 23.8 miles to a gallon. Wow. Okay. This has a turbo in it? I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Really? Turbo six-cylinder, baby. I thought it was just the, the V6 Penstar non-turbo. So what? I thought it was just the V6... Penstar motor, non-turbo. No, no, it's got a turbo. Let me wow. go. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. 23 miles a gallon. 23.8. But you're saying when you run premium, it's night and day? Oh, yeah. You get, a, you get better mileage, and the truck seems to run a whole lot better. Yeah. I did have uh, a, a, an issue where my uh, check engine light came on. Yeah. And, it, you know, you, you could tell when you were giving gas, if you give it too much, it wanted to, like, uh, hold back and stall on it. Right, right. So I started running the premium gas. That light went away, and it runs like a tan. You know what I mean? And this so. truck, for the most part, has been flawless. Yeah. And it got, and somebody freaking wiped it out. My poor Bob, here, he, here he's told he's got stage four cancer. Somebody in the street runs into his truck. 
and freaking does a ton of damage to it. <sighs> the summer of hell. Yeah, and believe me, I am very, very tough on vehicles. I mean, if Dodge would, uh, I could do a commercial for Dodge. Said, give Bob a new truck and see how it can handle it. <laughs> if it, if it, if it stands goes, up to Bob's stands abuse. up to my abuse. Yeah, believe me, buy that truck. Yeah, right. Like I say, very impressed. Wow. Let me get you the address. Let's see here. Hey, baby. What? What are you doing? I am going to go pick up a nice new truck. Which one are you getting? The red one. Yeah. Somebody else wants it. And I'm way up here in White Marsh. Have you seen my video? Well, uh, Ted Bridge Chevrolet, um, I was going to go down there about 11 o'clock, and the guy said that somebody else is going to be there at 11 o'clock to look at it. So I was like, yeah, I'm out. I'm not going to play that game. So, so he said, you, you'd have to come later. I'm like, Phew. so I'm going to wait around for the guy to decide if he buys a truck all day. I'll pass. But I, when I was doing double duty, I, I actually uh, reached out to this guy Coon Chevrolet in White Marsh, Maryland, and uh, and I did everything over the uh, internet to see if I can get approved because there's no way I'm driving an hour and a half away to be told you can't buy the truck. So the whole deal. Say what now? Yeah, everything's ready to go. If I want it, I can take it. I would get it. Plus, they discounted it thirty one hundred dollars. Yeah, and it reminds me of me and Popcorn when we were in 1978. That's really cool. Popcorn sent me an RV parked link in case Ted and Leah's house doesn't work out. Say what? Popcorn sent me an RV link in case Ted and Leah's house doesn't work out. What are you talking about? Oh, I get you. I get you. But hey, I gotta take care of Bob. We're here. I gotta give him instructions. Okay. okay bye. bye bye. Um. Yeah. So you're gonna stay right. Here we go. Wow. This looks like all brand new area. Just crazy. It's just crazy on how you know. Just look. Look at Tesla. Look at the Nissan dealership. That's probably a fire department. It just doesn't end, man. Cars and car dealerships. This country is a third world country. If this country ever got rid of all the cars and trucks. Here we are on the left hand side here, Bob. Here we are coming up to the Coons Chevrolet White Marsh and right next to a CarMax Superstore. And then the gloomer doomers just say they can't sell any cars, which I don't know. Driving a lot of them off the lot, that's for well, sure. Well, like Dennis at Coons Baltimore Ford said, he said it best. He said, when I see everybody walking, then we got problems. <laughs> Until everybody's still riding around a car, I think we'll be all right. With the never-ending traffic, it's always the traffic. Yep, there you go. You got it. Yep. Busy, busy, busy. Wow, so here we go. Yeah, boom and boom and boom. And you're I'm a Chevy guy, aren't you? Yeah. Would you own a Chevy truck? 